What is up, y'all? Capone Tone Tony here, and I'm going to go in how I think I'm going to build Yuffie in this game. I am very, I still have not drawn on this banner yet. I am like heavily considering it though. I said in a previous video when I first initially saw this banner, I was like, I was not like super hype about it, but I could see what Yuffie could bring to the table that no other character in this game can bring. And that's her being a great buffer and debuffer. So that's what like, you know, makes me excited about Yuffie is I think she would be a great like number four, number five character on my team that would bring some uniqueness, you know? So her new weapon, the Arctic Star, is very good. It's um let's just go into it. So, you know, obviously her weapon, P attack is increased mid, and, you know, you buff a, your another character to mid as well. And if you get to OB6, you buff yourself to high. And you get the P attack, you get the debuff duration. Um, this thing's going to be, once you apply this buff, it's going to be there for a long-ass freaking time, if you have the costume on. And that's great. And I think she would be great for a couple specific scenarios every team is going to be different you know how your account is right now but for me personally i would probably pair this with wind slash because you're going to get more p attack you're going to get more buff debuff duration and you can decrease thunder resist down to high that's going to be insane <laughs> like she's going to be a great support for my murasame cloud i have murasame ob6 right now so with the FF9 costume, with, you know, uh, he has the um, Zidane sword too. So Cloud is going to be doing this crazy lightning damage. and Or physical lightning damage, I should specify. And plus he has this, you know, Materia slot too for 30% lightning potency. You know, that's... Or not potency, but damage. That's going to be very good for what I need. You know, if you're fighting specific lightning bosses, dungeons that have lightning, you know, characters that are weak to lightning, she's going to be fantastic for that. Um, so pairing Arctic Star and this, I think, is really good. Very strong. If you get both of these, like, to OB6. And the second build I'm kind of thinking of for Yuffie is just an all-out ice build so this is like her strongest weapon essentially her strongest physical attack weapon it's uh spiral shuriken does 660 percent physical ice damage at ob6 800 percent so this is essentially like tifa's uh christmas gloves whatever holy flame gloves and you're just doing a crap ton of ice damage essentially but the problem is yeah you don't really have a costume to pair it with but having a physical ice damage dealer i think would be nice it's just a nice to have you know it's not something i need but i feel like it's a good secondary option for yuffie yeah i, I would still say the main uh build would be this uh wind slash and arctic star but if you can get this ice weapon and possibly this breach weapon as well then she'll just be like a crazy ice damage dealer which i think is a good secondary option for me personally, I would not want the the boomerang, which is the fire breach weapon, because I drew on the Sephiroth and Cloud banners for the fire weapons. Like, and Sephiroth is already doing the fire breach better than what Yuffie can do, because his also debuffs physical defense. So that's why I wouldn't want to do that. Uh, the poison one, I'm not really sold on the poison yet. Because there's just so many enemies and bosses and whatnot that can be resistant to poison. So that's my line of thinking right now is I would want to do Wind Slash, this, and then have the Ice Weapon as an alternative. So he can do physical. So she can do physical ice. Because Sephiroth right now does magical ice. And that can be a difference. Because remember Hell House? He was weak to magical and ice. So Sephiroth was just perfect for that, but if you had Tifa's Holy Flame Gloves, the physical ice was just not as potent, you know? <laughs> so, yeah, I just 
when I think of Yuffie, I just want to, I think she's great because she can offer just a bit more variety to my setup. Because when it comes to my main setup right now, I have Cloud, Aerith, and um, Tifa. So let's just go to that real quick. Um, there you go. Cloud, Aerith, Tifa. Like, this is always going to be my main setup, essentially. I've built these characters out very well. Um, why does she have that? <laughs> so, yeah, that for, uh, umbrella's OB7. I want to get Fairy Tail better, too. I want to get that to OB6, so she'll be a more potent healer. Uh, but, yeah, look at this. I mean, these three are always going to be my main damage dealers. Sephiroth, as a fourth, is very good because if you're dealing with enemies or dungeons that are more prone to ice or magic attack, then he is a great sub for that scenario. And then after that, I just want to have Yuffie as a specific, like, fifth, possibly, to support Cloud when it comes to these, like, lightning enemies and whatnot. But also her being just a physical ice damage healer, not a magical ice damage healer. So there's this... You know, my account's trying to just cover a bunch of different scenarios with these five characters, and I think pulling for Yuffie would be good for that specifically, or building her that way, you know. And that's just my line of thinking right now. Um, how are y'all going to build Yuffie? I I think the, you know, it really just depends on your account and what you have and don't have. Like, I do not have the Ice Breach weapon for... Lucia, a bald eagle, I've drawn for it, or wishlisted for it at least four or five times. I have, okay, not maybe four or five times. It's probably two or three times. I never got a single copy. So I've kind of given up trying to build her <laughs> into that Ice Breach character. And I would kind of like to have Yuffie do that with also having a strong ice weapon. But, you know, it's just my line of thinking right now. Will she ever be like Yuffie be a main character on my team? Probably not because, you know, Tifa, Aerith, and Cloud are just so far beyond right now because I've been playing the game for two to three months already. But I'm very intrigued. Um, I think I might pull for her. But the reason I'm hesitant to pull for her right now is because if you look at my crystals, I got 47, 450. Um, I almost want to save because next month rebirth comes out what if they do like some crazy event that goes with rebirth what if they have another like limited ff crossover during that month and i'm just low on crystals you know if i just pull the first page on this i would say on average i'll probably lose it'll probably take like eight pulls that's just average. What if I get really shitty luck? <laughs> and I only have like less than 20,000 for next month. So that's the, you know, that's, that's the thing about this game. You got to pick and choose what you're going to pull for. Do I need Yuffie? No, I do not need Yuffie. But I would like to have her built, you know, for another specific, you know, a couple other specific scenarios that she would be helpful for my team, you know. So that's just my thinking, y'all. Um... Just let me know how y'all gonna build Yuffie, if you're even gonna use her, whatnot. Just uh, let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah, I might follow this up with a pool video, might not, we'll see. But uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this content, please give it a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Later.